Hi there. Let me show you one additional thing that you can do inside a layout inside ArcMap. Now as you can see I've got a layout right here. Now it's linked to my map view so I can go over here to the map view if I don't like the spatial extent and adjust the map view here. My layout view adjusts there. In other words the data frame, the data that's in the data frame and the layout are linked. So you don't ever want to go here and then delete the data frame because that's going to delete it from your map document as well. So they're linked together. Whatever spatial extent and data layers are in the data frame in the map view are transferred over to your layout view. But let me show you an additional thing that might be really helpful. Let's say I want this legend here, which is kind of a plain legend. I really don't have it enhanced in any way. Let's say I want to enhance it. I can go over here to the layout toolbar, which is available out here under toolbars, layout. Notice I've got that one checked. And let's say I want to go over here and double click on my legend. I can make it a bit fancier than it is right now. So for example, I can adjust what is on there. I can adjust the kind of fonts and colors and so on. Let's just take a simple example. Let's say I want that background to be a little bit uh, thicker and I want a drop shadow on there and go ahead and say OK. See now I've got a bit of an enhanced layout. Another thing I want to show you is I can change the layout right here. I can select different page sizes and some other things that are in these templates. And that way I don't have to start each one of these layouts over from scratch. Notice this legend I've got down here in the lower part of the layout. I can adjust the size there, but as I do, it's dynamic so that the units change. Also, as I zoom in on my map, notice that the scale changes, as it should, because it's dynamically linked to my map document. Let's say I want a bit of enhancement on there. I'm not content with just having miles on there, so let's go ahead and go to Properties. I'm going over to go over here to Alternating Scale Bar Properties. And right here I can change my scale bar to a different kind of scale. You can see that I've also changed my units of measure as well. Two kilometers right there. I'm working in a public land survey system state, so these rectangles that you see there are actually in miles. And so what I want to do is change the legend two miles, but I don't want it that big, so I'm going to go ahead and scale it back. Get it? Scale it back. little geographical pun there. Alright, super. So I can see right now that these, these squares are actually square miles, which is what it should be. And now I'm going to go back to one to one scale, and then look at the whole page. And there I've got it. So now that looks pretty good. It looks uh, how I want it to look. And I'm ready to go ahead and print it or send it to a web page or do convert it to a PDF or whatever I want to do. So just a couple of simple things that you can do inside the layout to really enhance what you're doing and the quality of your final map output. Thanks.